Hello students, today's agenda is to check homework. We'll be simplifying expressions and you will be able to work on 11.3. Uh, today, students will be able to simplify expressions by combining like terms. Before we do that, um, I'm gonna ask you to do a warm up or a do now. And it says, name the parts of the following expressions. So in here, we have a coefficient, um, which is five. The x, it's a variable. 10 is also coefficient. The y is a variable. Then we have negative one. I'm gonna put here negative one. That's a coefficient. And the Z is a variable. And finally, the negative eight, since Z doesn't have a variable, that's a constant constant number, okay? Um, for the next part, it says, also do now, it says translate the following phrases into expressions. And so, it says, the quotient of a number, a negative eight plus 11. So the quotient means division or the answer of the division. And what are we dividing? A number by negative eight. So a number divided by negative eight plus 11. So that's how the expression will look, okay? Another way that you can do it is a number, okay, the quotient of a number and negative eight, so x divided by negative eight plus 11. Okay, so that's our two different ways to write it, and some people will even put parentheses, um, although not necessary. The next one says the product of five and a number minus two. So the product means multiplication of five and a number. So five times a number. We don't know what the number is, so we can put any variable minus two. So something like that. Some people say, what if I don't put the dot to represent multiplication? You can just put five n or five x or five p, any, any variable minus two. Number three says a number squared plus seven all over something. I don't know. I guess I'll put another number here. Another number. Okay, so a number squared. So we don't know what number. We're just going to put x squared plus seven. And then it says all over another number. So all over means divided by, or all of it over, and then it says another number. So if we cannot use the same variable, it's gonna be maybe y. Okay, so this is just to review what we've learned in the past. Um, but the new topic is simplifying algebraic expressions. And so, it says that to simplify an algebraic expression, we have to add or subtract the terms that are alike. And what are like terms? Combining like terms means that we're putting together, and it's by addition or subtraction, terms with the same variable raised to the same power. Raised to the same power. So they have to have the same variable 
and they have to have the same exponent is what it means okay so that's what we're going to be doing today um, combining like terms and so let's start with the examples remember that you can always pause the video if you need to take notes um, but here are some examples so if I have 9x minus 12x, these have the same variable and both have the same power. The power is the 1. I call it chiquitito. Okay, so it's going to be when we have a positive and a negative, we subtract and leave the sign of the bigger one. Okay, so it's going to be 12 minus 9 is 3x and then leave the sign of the bigger one the bigger one is 12 so it's going to be negative so some people say like i have nine boxes but i owe 12 boxes tengo nueve cajas pero debo 12 cajas entonces voy a quedar endeudada con tres cajas okay so number two I'm gonna look for the ones that have the same variable and usually what I do is to try either to use colors or shapes or both. So I noticed that the 28A is like negative 10A. Notice how I enclose the sign to the left. So tengo 28A y debo 10A. So that means that I owe 18, I mean I have 18A left, ¿verdad? Tengo 28 y debo 10, me los quitan y me quedo con 18 todavía. Or if you want the rule, signos diferentes se restan y se queda el signo del mayor. So 28 minus 10 is 18 and the biggest one is positive. And this is just alone so we just put plus 7b and that's the answer okay let's do the next one solo estamos buscando que tenga la misma variable y el mismo exponente ah uh, we have to make, pay attention to the signs okay los signos son muy importantes so in here i have z negative z I have positive 7z and I have negative 11z and this is lonely. Debo una z y tengo siete, me quedan seis z, right? Because I subtract and leave the sign of the bigger one. O si pienso como debo una y tengo siete, ya nada más me voy a, voy a pagar esa y me van a quedar seis. So 6z, tengo seis aquí. Minus 11, ok, tengo 6, pero debo 11, so voy a quedar endeudada. I'm going to have a debt in here. 11 minus 6 is 5, and the bigger number is negative, so it's going to be negative 5z, and the lonely 3, I just bring it there. So that's going to be the answer. Um, ¿Cómo le puedo hacer? How can I do it to... A uh, different way, some people prefer to see it like negative z and 7z. Okay, if I have a negative and a positive, I subtract 7 minus 1. Remember that if there is nothing in here, the coefficient is a negative 1, so it's 6z. Okay, and then I bring the negative 11z, so I have 6 and negative. 11 that's going to become negative because this is bigger and then from 6 to 11 is 5 okay so that's how i get negative 5z okay so now let's do the next one and here i have four terms meaning a quadrinomial. And so I look for the ones that are the same. So I have 4m 
I look for another M, it's right here, 2M, but then I have, this one doesn't have M, I'm gonna use a different shape. And so I say, okay, 4M and 2M equals 6M. Some people prefer to do 4M and 2M, and then they have negative 13 and positive five, so they said, okay, I have four and I have two. That means I have six M. And then in here, I O debo 13, and I have five. So different signs we subtract and leave the sign of the bigger one. So it's gonna be negative, and 13 minus five is eight. So I'm gonna put the negative eight in here. So that's gonna be my answer. Okay, another one here. So in here, notice how it's gonna it's getting a little bigger. So I'm gonna use a rectangle for the Y's. Notice that I encircle the the sign on the left. Incluyo el signo a la izquierda. Okay, I don't have any more Y's. Let me use a different color in here so that we can also use colors. So Z and Z. And then I have a lonely X and a lonely negative four. Okay, so in here, negative X and negative four, they don't have other like terms. We're just gonna write them. Okay, one thing that we need to do is to write them also in alphabetical order. So I have X, Y, and Z. And the constant numbers always go at the end. Notice how in here I put it at the end. Los números solitos, invariables, se ponen hasta el final. Um, so I'm going to put the X first. Remember this is part of the variable. Okay, so negative X. In orden alfabetico, X, Y, Z. So then comes the Y. If I have 10Y and I have 9Y, when I put them together, they are both positive, so I add them, and so it's 10 plus 9 is 19Y. So I'm gonna put plus 19Y. The next one is Z. And so I have 2Z and 3z. So again, both are positive. I add, and two plus three is five z. So I'm gonna put plus five z. And the last one is the negative four. The constant number goes at the end by itself, okay? So we end up with a quadrinomial. Okay, now the last one. In here I have A, another A, and another A. So I have three with A, and I have B and B, okay? So in alphabetical order, I will put these together first. Since they are all positive for the A's, I'm just gonna add them. So 2A, 8A, and 12A, all together make 12 plus eight is 20, plus two is 22A, 22A. And then for the B, I have three B. Let me do the other color. Again, it doesn't matter if you use the same color, just make sure that you look at the shapes. 3B and negative B. In here, it's like if you have negative 1B, okay? So when you have different signs, you don't add, you subtract. And so 3 minus 1 is 2B. So that's gonna be the answer. Since it's not, there's, and keep the sign of the bigger one, it's positive. So we're gonna put plus 2B in here. So, basically that's it. Um, 
just the note in here. Note, by the time you give the final answer, the simplification has to have an alphabetical order, exponential order if the variable um, is used more than once with different exponents. Okay, and the constant always at the end. Okay, alphabetical order and the constant at the end. Okay, so now you can do page three. Okay, have fun. And remember that math is wonderful.